Okay, Hannah. So your second challenge is all about grids. So grids are really important, as I told you, and uh, you seem to be having some problems with that. So I thought I'd put this video together to try to help you out. So in your directions, you're creating an 11 by 17 brochure, which is folded in half. And then you don't really have to worry about the folding part. All you have to really worry about is the spread itself. So on that spread, in step two here, you're going to have the content, a picture, four to six paragraphs of copy, some legal copy that's tiny, uh, an inset pull set, quote, a headline, and a logo. The logo you can make up, and then there's a, it's a little bit of a game. So the first time you roll your dice, that determines how many columns you're going to have in your layout. So I'm going to switch to InDesign now. I'm just going to show you. Here's an InDesign document, and this is 11 by 17. And this black line in the middle, that represents the fold. So both sides are 8.5 by 11 sheets. And then on this page, I have four columns each. And that's going to help me set up my document. And this is a grid. If I wanted to change the grid, I go to Layout to Margins and Columns, and then I have the number of columns here, and I can change it to two or whatever. So in this particular case, there's only two columns. So if you rolled your dice and you got a two, you would put two columns on each page. So I'm just going to go back here, go back to Margins and Columns, and let's say I have six columns. Some magazines and some newspapers, like I was telling you, they might have 12 columns, they might have 6, they might have 8. Uh, it really depends on who the designer is in terms of the layout. The grid is invisible. It doesn't show up when you actually print. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. Now in terms of the content, the content, I'm going to pull some content onto the page. So this is my body copy. And using the grid, you can see here that the body copy is spanning three columns. If I wanted to, I could make it span four columns. I could make it span just two columns. Or I could make it span across the entire width of the page, which isn't really good because this, is, this line length is too long. It's too hard to read for people. So most newspapers and magazines, you'll notice that they'll have like a two-column or they might, might be three columns and they might stack these things. So I can take the rest of the content and I can fill it out into another ser series of columns. And I can drop this content on the page and just continue to fill it out. Um, the legal copy, uh, the headline, I can drop the headline in. Let's say I want the headline to span across all six columns. I can do it that way. The legal copy that can come in and I can make that four columns. I can drop the image in and the image could, in this case the image is, this, they ask for a specific size and that doesn't fill in into our column dimensions so that could be floating an element. Um, you could deal with it in different ways. Now, I know you don't have InDesign. You can download a free trial, and you can try playing around with it. But I do know that you have Photoshop. So I'm going to switch over to Photoshop real quick. And in Photoshop, there's a plugin or an extension that you can install, which is called Gridify. So here I have a Photoshop document that's 11 by 17. And this... this um, I have the rulers on, so if you go to View, Show to Rulers, or Command R, or Control R in your case, I can grab a ruler guide and drag it onto the page. If you hold down the Shift key, you can grab to specific increments. So let's say that I need it to be at 2 inches, or I need another one to be at 10 inches. Just holding down the Shift key will constrain it. Let's say that I need one in the middle. I know that it's an 8.5 by 11 sheet, so I need one at an 8.5, so that's the middle of my spread. 
that's where the fold would be. Now the Gridify extension is right here. I have it installed and there's a couple different ways that you can use this. You can use it uh, by spacing, by divisions, or this other value that you can use with a selection. In this case I just want to divide up the space. So like in the other spread I have six columns on both both sides of the spread. So if I type in 12 here and hit divide, I've divided up this space into 12 columns. It's not as precise as InDesign, but at least this can give you something to hang your content on. And you can put in your image, you can put in your text. Uh, the plugin is free. It's an extension that you can download. It's called Gridify. So a couple last things. I want to point you to a couple different resources. One of them is this book by Timothy Samara. It's called Making and Breaking the Grid. The great thing about this book is there's a lot of good examples. So this, this could help you out. Maybe uh, could be in the library um, or you might get a used version um, for pretty cheap. There's, there's used versions for like eight bucks. Uh, the other book is by Robert Bringhurst and this is like a typographic style guide but there's a whole section that's all about layout and the grid and um, the perfect ratio that I was telling you about and this one's pretty cheap the used versions again like eight bucks so hopefully that helps you out and if you have any other questions uh, just let me know